So let's talk about what happened there for a minute. So mid-thread, um, the needle went through a slip part of the pouch and apparently had looped onto itself to create a knot. And oftentimes when this happens, you've yanked on the thread so it's pulled down very, very tight. And the hard part is usually uh, when you pass the needle through multiple slits, this little knot is covered in wax and it's just super hard to deal with. So when you're trying to get an idea of what's happening, um, especially from a time lapse, you can't see what, what actually happened. So what happened was the thread went through the slit, got pulled tight, drew down this knot fairly tight. And the last thing you want to do is continue moving forward when you know you have that knot because this knot is going to end up tearing through the leather over and over, which is going to fatigue the leather, fatigue your needle, fatigue your hands, and fatigue the thread. So it's better to stop and take the time to address this little knot and uh, make sure that it opens up. So what I did was I switched to this tool, which is just an awl, and any tapered point would do. If you had a dental pick, that would be fine. But generally, you just need a point that allows you to get inside your threaded portion just enough to pull the loop loose, right? And so it's hard to find the right balance. But you want to come at it from a different angle and then try and find the opposite loop as well on the back side. And just make sure that you get in there. I just wiggle it around, right? If I can pierce it through, I will, because you're just trying to create enough room to start pushing the thread backwards through itself. But this is just a piece of string. This isn't the uh, actual pouch part, because I wouldn't be able to get this close to the camera to show pulling the thread apart at this level. And so once you get everything to open, it's really just about pinching gently. And you can do the same thing, right? With your awl coming through and making sure that it pulls loose. But once you get it to the point where your fingertips can handle it, you just want to make sure that you're pulling from the right side and that you're not just making the knot tighter again, okay? So it's worth taking the time to make sure that you're pulling from the right side and that your loops are actually opening because knots in your thread are no fun. So once you get to this point, you want to chase down which side is your needle side and which side is your pouch side, and then draw the needle back through whatever the knot is. Okay. And that's really all you need to know, but it's a perfect little interlude between the time lapse.